beep 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 hello jester news all that eh approved new and approved from the jester news um what have we got for you today there are times when these nut jobs just hand it to you on a plate it's like here dismember me right there's sometimes when they hand it to you on a plate and i've got one of those for us today so we're going to go through a when the woke hand you a plate because this is just brilliant. Um, there is a dance school, right? Which is obviously in the you know the category of arts, you know, which is where most of this crap hides out, right? It's, it's all they're all hidden in the arts, you know, all flouting about with their you know bits and bobs, one <laughs> giving it all this. And, How was your father, right? Okay, so this is from a dance company, and it was a sign that was seen under a project called Zero Torrance. And it was, it was like a sort of, it was either laminated or it was on a screen or something, because it was a very shiny sign. It was like they'd gone for, what do, what do you want, matte or gloss? Let's have gloss. Why? Well, it'll stand out more, won't it? Yes, it will, yeah. It was important message. Yeah, it is an important message, is it? <laughs> Let's have a listen to this important message. Zero tolerance. What is? <laughs> what is a turf? <laughs> this is a dance school. Just stick to, you know... Tapping your toes and flinging your legs wider than anyone else. Okay. <clears throat> I'll start again. Zero dollars. <laughs> what is a turf? Brackets. Trans exclusionary radical feminist. Closed brackets. Right? And it's in yellow. The is a turf is in yellow. And then the T, the E, and the R, the F are in yellow. Uh, brackets, closed brackets. The trans-exclusionary radical feminist ideology is a specific form of transphobia, right? The primary turf assertion... <laughs> I need that on a badge. The primary turf assertion... <laughs> you could just hear people... I mean, serious people sat around talking about this. Or well, they think they're serious at the dance school. So this week... This week, yes. We're gonna, what are we looking at this week? ED, EDI. Oh, right, OK, yes, we'll do that, yes. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Well, um, I think we should try to understand, don't you, Tarquin, the uh, primary turf assertion. <laughs> the primary turf assertion is that trans women are not women. Well, they aren't, you wankers, right? And accordingly, have no place in women's spaces. Well, they don't! Because <laughs> they're men, right, OK? What is wrong with these people? The ideology also affects trans men, as TERFs assert that people assigned female at birth, but identify as male, shouldn't be allowed into women's spaces either. Well, that's a damned lie. Report and support. Rep to whom? Are you keeping a list, you bunch of prancing pansies? Is that what you're doing, keeping a list? Who's got the list? Tarquin? <laughs> As he? Hey, Lionel? I know your type. And then there's one of these boxes, you know, like a, a QR code. So obviously that then takes you to somewhere where you could report a turf. I didn't. What did they think they would do it? Right. Turfs are, you know, about women. If you're a woman, they're worried about you. Right? Look at that bit of fluff there. They're concerned about you. They're concerned about you, right? That's, they're not... They, women, turfs, females at birth but identify as males shouldn't be allowed into women's spaces. It's just a lie. It's an absolute lie. So, I got hold of this and posted it. <laughs> What's going on? Explain yourselves. As did everybody else, including eventually Andrew Doyle, who, who, who retweeted it. Um, and he said, Note how a view held by the majority of the population is being presented as a form of extremist ideology. By a bunch of people in tutus. <laughs> Who spend all day prancing around like they're part of the cast of Suspiria. And the rest of the day pretending they're Bob Fosse. And Fosse, and Fosse, and Fosse. All that jazz. Right, okay. So this dance company, which for some reason thinks it's okay to do this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in there. They've let a loony in, haven't they? They've got a lunatic, EDI loony. <laughs> That's what's happened. So, no surprise then, a few hours later, <laughs> we get an apology. <laughs> you just described it. 
Earlier today, on-campus signage at the Institute of Contemporary Music Performance was shared on social media. <sighs> our intention, following discussions with our student community, had been to communicate the definition of TERFs to help clarify what we consider to be a growing misconception around what the term means. <laughs> Right, here's where your problem is, right? So, um, uh, the Institute of Contemporary Music Performance, I don't know who's running your play. So, who's the head prancer? Right, I don't care. Right, but if you're listening, which I hope you are, let me tell you where you went wrong to start with. Our intention, following discussions with our student community... Stop talking to the student community, they're all mad. Right? Lead. Shouldn't you be doing this? What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, it's like you're pandering to children all the time. What are you? It's like Chairman Mao's musical theatre. Uh, uh. You do the trans version of No Pussy in Boots. <laughs> Stop it! Okay, so they want to clarify what it meant, and then they got here. We got it wrong. <laughs> do you think? We got it wrong. Then it gets worse, right? The signage is clunky, and we can see how it can be misinterpreted as an ICPM view and or policy. Well, it, it obviously was, otherwise you wouldn't put it up. What's wrong with you, right? ICPM view. The signage has now been removed. We apologise profusely for any offence caused, right? We would like to make clear that our zero tolerance policy refers to our approach to discrimination of any kind. Really? Discrimination of any kind, right. So if I come to you and I say that um, I want to discriminate against somebody who, because I'm a gay man, wants to throw me off a building, are you going to tell me I'm wrong? Really, you're going to tell me I'm wrong. What about if you serve dinner to your students and you serve them bangers rather than real sausages? You know, the ones that are 85% weak with a little bit of pork out at the end going, hello, right? Discrimination is a human concept that is necessary. Stop talking rubbish in your little snapshot pieces of crap, right? As such, we have a con confidential reporting process in place that gives students and staff a direct line of contact with senior trained staff if they feel they are in any way being victimised, discriminated against or being made to feel otherwise uncomfortable, right? What they're saying is they've got a Stasi-style report system where students who have been fed a continual diet of grievance and, and misery can be more, even more grievance-driven and more miserable by simply phoning up anonymously and blaming somebody for something that may or may not be true. You are not the Stasi, you bunch of... Oh, you, mm. J just stop it. We recognise that this is a complex and important subject. It's not. It isn't complex and important too. Men are men, women are women. Uh, we will work closely with our community. Well, you did that before and you screwed it up. I don't suggest you do. Just, just say the truth. Tell some facts, OK? We work close with our community and welcome debate. No, you don't. If you welcome debate, you wouldn't have put it up in the first place. You're using Stonewall here, aren't you? Stonewall law. It is our absolute aim to make all of our students, staff and wider community feel welcome and included at ICPM. If your students, staff and wider community want to be welcome, they only have to do one thing, is turn up. You teach them to dance. You teach them to, don't teach them to be political activists. You have in your midst a teacher somewhere or somebody who's running the place, maybe, who is an absolute social justice parasite. Get them out. Get them out. Or it won't be long before pas de do. It won't just be pas de don't. It will be, it'll be pas de not able at all to do so. Right? <laughs> So fussy on that. <laughs> it's not even an apology. It's not what, what it should have said was the students who advised us have been disciplined and removed from the college. That's what it should have said. The students who advised us have been disciplined and removed from the college. What's wrong with you? Do you not understand how this works? The students who advised us have been disciplined and removed from the college. It's the only way to do it. Um, and if you truly welcome debate, you'd have asked somebody to do it. I suggest that you go back to the drawing board and decide very, very clearly about what you want to be. Do you, I see MP London, want to be a dance school? Or do you want to be a hotbed for critical social justice activists who will ruin your entire business model? Be warned. That's what they'll do because they are the thieves of time. Thieves of time. That's all they want to do is disrupt. That's all they want to do. So what I, what I would like you to do, I'd like you to respond, actually. I think it'd be nice if we could have a response from you that's actually a proper apology, saying that you should never have put ideology above reality and that you won't do it again. And I'd like to see that done through the medium of dance. <laughs> you could use that, you know, I'm sorry, so sorry. Please forgive. 
you could do it with that song instead of choosing to do it with Chicago's It's So Hard to Say I'm Sorry, in which you haven't really apologised at all. Anyway, um, <laughs> there we are. So go and dance, do the mashed potato, do what it is that you do, OK? Um, it's all going to be fun because we know they're on the run and you are on the run, you and your kind. Get, get these people out of your organisation, otherwise you won't have an organisation to teach people to dance with. It's that simple, OK? No apology at all. What a disgrace. You got caught with your pants down and you can't even admit it. Good luck. Keep jesting, people. <laughs>